this thing's been sitting around my flat for a while and I found it in the bin kind of wondering, ooh, why is this thrown out? Well, I don't know. I don't particularly have a use for it, but I thought it'd be fun to pull apart. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you is something I noticed as I was picking it up, this uh, gunk. So those batteries have definitely leaked, which really is not pleasant. Ooh. Yeah, they've really leaked. Oof. So I'm going to try to leave them there as is. It doesn't look like I'm going to need to take those batteries out to remove any screws. Now something I thought was interesting about this particular uh, bedside table stereo thing is that it takes a 12 volt jack which is probably standard for all the cheap ass Chinese stuff that's been flooding the market. But so far not the ones I've had. All the ones I've always had have had like mains going in so yeah, it's a bit different. <sighs> So, pulling this apart I thought would be fun. <laughs> I think it's been sitting around for like four months. I mean, yeesh. Double yeesh. Okay, I'm back. So, first I'm going to try this flathead, see if it's going to get down in there. Which it will. And it took. Yay! Alright, so that's that out. Chuck you away. Mm. Alright, let's try to crack her open. Yeah, that seems about right. There's always something hiding. Ooh, and hear that nice crack open. So I'm assuming something else must have gone for this thing to have gotten thrown out. Because I can't understand someone throwing it out if they got themselves one of the new iPhones since this has got the old 30-pin uh, header on it. Or if something really went awry. I mean, they did a previous owner did that. <laughs> I could honestly see maybe recovering the speakers from this. They may sound all right, but... Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. No, I don't see it. There it goes. Oof. While I do have those cutters, I'm just going to use a pair of crappy scissors. I have to dispose of that properly. Oh yeah, you can tell this is cheap. <laughs> Look at that. So this first board, well, I'm assuming, I was expecting something a little different. I was expecting like proper chambers with the moulding that's on here, but obviously it's just a design, not a uh, actual function. Okay, so those are the reason why it's so loosey. Yeah, now this is what confuses me. So this ribbon cable has been, well these two have been soldered in. These two are detachable. Which seem to just go to the knob and the uh, other knob.
feel like a very nice potentiometer. I think I'll keep you. And I'm assuming this is going to be the same. Well, that's not a potentiometer. <laughs> oh boy, that's a rotary encoder. I'm keeping that. Ooh, I'm keeping that. So is this the same or is this a potentiometer? Yep, that's a potentiometer. So that's two pot, two not not potentiometer. Sorry, rotary encoder. That's two rotary encoders already. <laughs> Sweet. So if I try to pull. No. All right. Uh, I'm guessing that's going to be a Bluetooth module. I'm gonna bring it up. So that there, I'm guessing, is a Bluetooth module since it's got its little antenna sticking off of it. Uh, so there are four little ICs here. Which I don't know what they are. There's another little eight leg there. More solder. I'm guessing these two are voltage regulators, this one and this one. So, if I unplug that, unplug that, and unplug that. So that's going to be the, uh, ooh, oh no, that's fine. So you've obviously got the audio part here, and then there's data. Wow, the power was wrapped around that. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I'm guessing this must be tapping directly into the audio left and right and these must be the signal wires for controlling everything. Eh, throw that out. So I'm guessing that's going to be main... Oh no, that's the auxiliary. I already unplugged the power. But... If I undo these two screws... get access to this which is your DC jack that's just an audio so that might be worth recovering from here I'm probably like I said the Bluetooth module would be interesting to take to be honest or is that the no no that would be uh, not Bluetooth um, radio Huh. Interesting. Maybe even, even more interesting to take off. I'm guessing that's going to be the audio amplifier. Which there are these two sort of speakers. Wait, what are you two? Oh, auxiliary. Alright, so snip you. No, that's a AM FM radio modulator. Different. So get rid of that. Now looking at the case construction, I should be able to take out those two screws and get access to the rest of this. With a lot more ease.
No, wait, there's three. There's always three. They're interesting. All right, so I can throw that out. And what I should be able to do is unscrew these four. Hopefully there's nine or five hidden hiding somewhere. This board looks like it's going to be nothing but a bunch of buttons, so... Yep. Hmm, a bunch of Zinner diodes. Okay. <laughs> you can look at the gunk that came through there. Someone's hair. Now, it looks like there are two screws holding this one in this time. I'm guessing the person who owned this had long black hair. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to ask whether or not I need to remove those last two screws, and no, I don't. Oh, that's an LCD. Okay. And here I was thinking that was going to be a uh, just regular display. So that is different. I'm questioning whether or not that's the microcontroller or, or if that's the driver for the display. Well, anyway, the last thing I want. Is the speakers. Since they look really nice. Well, not really nice, but they look okay. But because I never turned this on, I have no idea how it sounds. Actually, looking at it, it probably would have worked just fine. Until I gutted it. <laughs> Alright, so these are both 4 ohms. Yeah, typical paper speakers. No branding, no a bit of glue, so I can throw that out. Ooh, I'll keep that. So that's an entre. I don't know. So two rotary encoders, which is nice. And they've already got wires up in their own boards and everything. So that's usable straight off the bat. I mean, I can still use the... It's not exactly 100% you know, great, but... Okay. So those rotary encoders would have connected here and then gone to so oh, okay so this must be the central processing unit or the oh there's a crystal attached to it even yeah that's the main controller so that obviously dis drove the display directly um, can I even reuse that? So it's a 3.3 volt 
logic. Hmm. Yeah, so that's definitely a voltage regulator. There's its capacitor. Its input's over here. So I'm guessing it's going to be its input capacitor as well. This one. No idea what that transistor's for. So the amplifier circuit. These are going to be the output. This is going to be the auxiliary input. Which runs all the way over to here. Hmm. So, if I'm guessing correctly, this would have been the audio directly from the iPod mount which then traces through here my guess would be this is the switching so the switching IC so depending on the input you selected it will go through here link it up through to the actual output which would link, uh, send it straight to the amplifier. Wow, okay, I'm over-examining that. So no, uh, nice little collection. Probably won't be able to do anything with it for a while, but anyway. This was a teardown of some useless POS. Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Yibby yibby, blah. Yibbity yibbity.